Sugar, please be a little more careful. You know I bruise easy. Oh, I'm sorry. But if you were giving me a little more money, I wouldn't have to be making over my old clothes. And you wouldn't have to be doing this. But, Sugar, I haven't... I know. You haven't any money because you have to send that ex-wife of yours $30 a week alimony. She lives off the fan of the land while I'm practically naked. And if I don't pay her, she puts me in jail. Turn around. It's awful, if not worse. <laughs> oh, oh. No, look. It, it just... Go away! Ouch! Well, see what bill collector that is. Come in. We're from the Good Samaritan Furniture Company. And we don't want any. Yeah, but we do. You're supposed to pay for things you buy. Come, Junior. This goes to... If I do, I won't have money enough to pay my alimony. And if I don't pay my alimony, I go to jail. Alimony. That's all I hear. Alimony. I got it. If I can get my ex-wife to move in here and live with us, we won't have to pay her any alimony and our troubles will be over. Buster, stop spreading the dirt and sweep it into the dustpan. Your ex-wife will be here any minute. Now hurry. Want to see a dirty house like this? Well, there she is, your alimony leech. was married to. <laughs> meet Red Cliff. He's going to stay here with us. Provided we like it here. I'm very glad to meet you. Hiya, shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Elsie, I want you to meet the dearest little wife in all the world. Old stuff, Buster, old stuff. Use the hand me that baloney. Baloney, huh? That's good. <laughs> uh, show the folks around. It'll be a pleasure. bedrooms you got? Just two. That's fine. I'll take one and Radcliffe can have the other. Oh, anything to make you comfy. Hey, Shrimp, put that trunk in my bedroom. Ah. Mm. Just as clumsy as ever, ain't you? Come on. Lift it up. Get your knee under it. Lift. Lift. Sorry. You're sorry. Put that trunk in my bedroom. Honey, old baggage men carry trunks on their back like this. Come on, I'll help you. No, wait, take it easy now. Uh. Ease it up there, okay? Uh. Now, a little higher. Okay. Oh, are you all right? I think so. Uh. Now, now, balance it. Uh-huh, I got it, I think. Just a little higher. Just a little. Oh. Hey, hey, where do 
I go? There! That oh. way! Oh. I thought you were the trunk. Do I look like a trunk? <laughs> You're a scream. Yeah, funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Roast duck, no less. They've got their nerve ordering me to cook what they want. I know, but if they don't like it, they might leave. Oh. Here they come now. How's your room? Fine. <laughs> uh, make yourselves right at home, folks. Just one big happy family. That duck is so tough he can't even cut it. stung me. Oh, mercenary, eh? Just one big happy family. Darling, I think your idea was wonderful. And so is mine. today and you'll be paying a second alimony to me. Oh, listen, doll. Everything's going to turn out all right. Yeah.
<clears throat> oh, why don't you light somewhere? Here. Now go to sleep. out of here, I'll divorce you myself, you, you, you. Oh, l l listen, doll, I got it all figured out. My divorce decree says that if she remarries, I'm free from alimony. And if we can get her to marry Radcliffe, we're all set. If? I'll go right down and see my lawyer. Oh, I'm going to get some breakfast. Let me get into these, will you? I wouldn't if you weren't going to see your lawyer. There. Now, don't bother me. Oh, don't worry, sugar. Everything is going to be all right. Oh. Ouch! 
I now pronounce your man and wife. Five dollars, please. Thank you. I guess we ain't never gonna see you no more. Thanks for your curtain. Thank goodness we're rid of them. I, I kind of hate to see him go. She's a pretty swell kid. <laughs> 